Bread. Is it the key to a healthy heart and a long life, or will it drive you into an early grave? Such a simple question causes profound disagreement. The evidence could push you one way or the other. And so what we decide to believe is more about who we decide to believe, who are our experts. I look at how people in online communities dedicated to the Paleolithic diet decide who and therefore what to believe. This is a lifestyle based around the idea that humans evolved to consume the kinds of food present before the invention of agriculture, and therefore that the optimal diet seeks to emulate that kind of intake. No grains, no legumes, lots of dead animals. So in the absence of decisive evidence, how do you choose to who to believe? How do you get people to take up your diet? I've identified four key ways. The first is you appeal to scientific evidence. Convince people the most trusted institution of knowledge is on your side. Flaunt your PhD, cite your sources. Nobody will read more than the first PubMed abstract. Second, position yourself as an underdog, telling secrets which contradict the conventional wisdom. And instead, side with common sense, what feels correct. Evolutionary explanations feel intuitively true. Millions of years of adaptation and natural selection mean that this, this is what you're meant to eat. Third, they instrumentalize human bodies with images of their own glistening six packs or the dramatic weight loss that they've facilitated. They inculcate the idea that this, this just works regardless of who's right on a theoretical level. Finally, they use numbers. Calories, reps, kilograms, steps, grams of carbs and protein all create the idea of objectivity and steady progress, which convinces people that their improvement is definite but incremental. Why does this matter, though? We live in a world in which information is ever more plentiful but ever more contradictory, and the internet, far from making this easier, has only made it harder to disentangle truth from fiction. A single Google search reveals millions of sites all claiming to be reputable, but all of which contradict each other. By understanding the kinds of arguments that we make and why we find them persuasive, we put ourselves in a position to understand what, uh, the most important decisions in our lives in a way that is as untainted as possible by sophistry. So, for people who choose to go against the grain, it's important to know why they're doing it. As for bread, the jury's still out. <laughs>